So when we talk about the future of the force that your office is pushing, a lot of times people will mention the overhaul of personnel policies. Is that accurate? And what are the main things going into this overhaul? It is an overhaul because we have a system, a personnel system, that's really based in the 20th century and in an industrial era. Today we're in the 21st century and information age. I think new people coming into the force, the millennial generation, want a more flexible system. They want a more narrowly tailored one for their own talents. They want a system that recognizes that every person um, across the force has unique talents and they should have a job that's closely aligned to them. They want the chance to raise their families. They want to stay in, in certain stations longer than previous, uh, previously allowed. They want the chance to go to graduate school. They want the chance to have their promotions based on merit, not merely time and grade. And so we're trying to change all of those kind of things um, that um, for the military brings a revolution in human capital that is found elsewhere in the private sector but hasn't yet come to the Department of Defense. We're trying to change that.